Hi everybody, it's the Cinema Dude, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, and today, uh, we are back in the movie room, and uh, we are actually going to switch it up this week. It was supposed to be a new in the queue uh, episode, but uh, I got my Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday uh, items in, and so I thought, you know what? We're going to check this out. So, uh, just kind of an updated schedule for the remainder of the year. Uh, this will be this week's episode. Next week, we'll do top pickups of uh, 2022. Uh, and then the uh, last video of the year will be my um, best um, of 2022. So anything I thought was the best that came out this year. And then the first week of January will be the uh, new in the queue. So, uh, so let's hop right into it. Um, I picked up. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight titles. Uh, I think seven. So uh, we will hop right into it. Uh, definitely skewed a certain way this uh, this time. Uh, so I'll see if you guys can uh, see what that is. Um, and there's actually with this um, only one film that I've seen. Uh, everything else is blind buys, so uh, and they all look kind of very interesting. Uh, so we'll get right into it, and we'll start with the first one, and this is uh, an Agfa release uh, with partnering with something weird. And I just want to check. Yes, I should be able to see this. Um, it is the Doris Wishman. Uh, the films of Doris Wishman, The Twilight Year. So this is the first uh, box set uh, that they put out this year. Or it might be actually put out uh, end of last year, actually. Let's see. Oh, no, 2022. So, yeah. So beginning part of this year. And uh, they did three of these. This is the first one. Uh, so they went from her last films and then went up to her earliest films. Um, so I don't have my collection. Um, if you don't know, she is exploitation, sexploitation, kind of, uh, one of the most famous 60s, uh, directors. So, uh, didn't have any of her into the collection, and I thought, you know what, um, it would be nice to kind of start adding different filmmakers that I might not have into there, so we'll start with this. So, so this is the outer box, and then it comes with these ones, Deadly Weapons, Double Agent 73, the Immoral Three, The Amazing Transplant, Let Me Die a Woman, Keyholes Are for Peeping, and A Love Toy. Those are the ones on here. And then supposedly these like all like these little buttons all connect. So like when you get all three, they all kind of like can connect together, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then here is the slip. And then it should be, I mean, it's okay. I think it's a little bit okay, but let's do it like that. It doesn't really show anything, but that's just the front. And then that's the back. Uh, no one, it says, no one will ever make movies like Dora Schwishman made movies. One of the most prolific female filmmakers in the history of American cinema. Writer, director, editor, Wishman created collisions between surrealism and exploitation that feels like they materialized from an alternate universe. Uh, the films of Doris Wishman, The Twilight Years, uh, surveys the last May major era of Wishman's career from Deadly Weapons and Double Agent 73, uh, crime epics starring the iconic Chesty Morgan, uh, to Let Me Die a Woman, a semi-documentary about transgender people, Agfa and Something Weird are honored to present these Triumph DIY, DIY treasures in dazzling new restorations. Uh, so it's a three disc set. Um, so it's like two movies on each, um, and then there's a whole bunch of commentaries. Uh, let's see, there's a booklet, um, that has Lisa, uh, Perucci, uh, who's, who was, uh, Mike Verney's, uh, wife. Uh, so she did that. Um, let's see, anything else on here? She had trailers whole bunch of kind of cool stuff so they can just show you kind of the back of that so yeah so that is the twilight years of doris wishman 
on there as well. So that is the uh, first one. Uh, next, we are going to go with a, another Agfa release, and this is actually the one where I've seen one of them, and this is the blood Arama Triple Feature, or Frightmare, excuse me, Triple Frightmare. Let's back, and again, these are ones that were, I believe, put out by something weird at one point, uh, and then that's the front, and that's the back. And this uh, has Help Me, I'm Possessed from 1974, Night of the Strangler from 1972, and Carnival of Blood from 1970. Carnival of Blood is the one movie I've seen in this whole a lot. Um, so for Help Me, I'm Possessed, a freeform nightmare that takes place in a sanatorium in the desert. This surrealist gem includes a psychopath, a uh, hunchback, Delirious Monsters and a Killer Early Synthesizer Score. Uh, Night of the Strangler, a Southern Fried Who Done It with Murder, Racial Tension, and a starring role from the Monkees, Mickey Dolans. Uh, this sweaty, soaked sleazer uh, feels like a cross between an American Jallo and a trashy airport uh, paperback novel. And then uh, Carnival of Blood from 1970, an ominous semi. A uh, cinema verite horror movie that was shot at Coney Island in New York City. Uh, Carnival Blood features an early role from uh, Burt Young, who played uh, Polly and Rocky. Uh, pop art gore that would make H.G. Lewis, H. G. Lewis proud in a glorious CD atmosphere. Uh, and then there's a 2K presentation uh, from the only known 35mm print in existence. Um, so those one must be for all three of them. Carnival of Blood, Partial Commentary with Bleeding Skulls, Annie Chow, and Agfa and Bleeding Skulls, Joseph A. a uh, Zima. Uh, Blood Drimp Trailers and Drive-In Snippets from the Agfa Vaults. And then you can watch the full interrupted program in a drive-in mode. So that is Blood Arama, uh, the Triple Frightmare. Yeah, I, I have, and it's funny because there's two Carnival Buzz. There's the one, there's this one uh, that had a Something Weird release, which I believe came with Curse of the Headless uh, Horseman. And then there's the other Carnival Blood, which is on the um, American Horror Project. I don't know if it's, I can't see from here, yeah, if it's volume one or volume two, uh, but it's on that uh, set there. And then, just really quick, going back to the Wishman one, was there anybody, let's see, uh, Michael Bowen does commentary, Annie Chow and Joseph Zima have one. Um, and let's see, Lars Nelson and Brett Berg uh, also do the commentaries on those. Uh, and now we're going to get to kind of what the majority of this uh, was. Um, surprisingly, not a lot of horror and stuff. Uh, a lot of action, actually. So uh, we're going to do some. the first one with uh, Jaheel Murray and Billy Blanks in Talons of the Eagle. There's the front, that's the back. This is a uh, VSA... Uh, release that they had. I got uh, 3,307 out of 5,000 right there. Uh, and this is from 1992. It says DEA agent and martial arts experts Tyler Wilson, Billy Blanks, is sent on assignment to Toronto where he's tasked to try to stop an influx of narcotics into the States. Once in, in Toronto, Wilson is partnered with Detective Michael Reed, Jahal Murray, and the two undergo rigorous martial arts training uh, in hopes of enter, entering a local fighting tournament and getting closer to a well-known drug dealer named Mr. Lai, James Hong. After saving Lee's life, Wilson and Reed go undercover in Lee's gang in order to find evidence they need to put Lee away. However, their martial arts training is put to the test when Wilson and Reed try to take down Lee's uh, syndicate and the two are forced to fight for their lives. Uh, once again, like I talked uh, 
two weeks ago um, about the action uh, movies. Here's a martial arts tournament again. Uh, with an explosive action sequence and well choreographed fight scenes, Talons of the Eagles remains one of the best from action producer Jalal, Jalal Mary and featuring high octane martial arts performances from Billy Blanks, uh, as well as solid performances from Priscilla Barnes and the always enjoyable James Hong. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome is proud to present Talons of the Eagle for the first time on Blu ray. Uh, so it's Newly uh, scanned and restored 4K from its 35mm camera negative. Uh, there's a commentary tract with Johal Murray, uh, Bloods, Blades, and uh, Banks, a making of documentary featuring interviews with cast and crew, original trailer. Um, so that is that. So that is Talons of the Eagle. Yeah, I wanted to pick up some of these um, VSAs that I was kind of back on. Um, just because they do kind of sell out. So I was like, all right, well, you know what? These are ha half price, so let's, you know, hop on these and stuff. So that is Talons of the Ego. Then we have another Jahal Murray and Billy Blanks in Expect No Mercy. That's back. And this one is from 1995. Uh, it says, Justin Vanner is a highly trained and deadly agent for the elite police force known as the Federal Security Bureau. After a fellow underground agent turns up dead, Justin is recruited to infiltrate a high-tech martial arts training facility known as the Virtual Arts Academy, where students are trained in combat situations using virtual reality. Once inside the facility, Justin is to make contact with another undercover agent named Eric Jahal Murray, who believes that the Academy is really a front for a team of hired assassins run by their uh, power-hungry leader, Warbeck. With fears of their covers getting blown, Justin and Eric must face off with computer-generated opponents in a series of simulated fights that have real-life consequences. Uh, featuring state-of-the-art computer graphics for the time, Expect No Mercy uh, puts a unique spin on the virtual reality films that were popular in the 90s, uh, including No Hold Bars, Martial Arts Action, and solid performances from Billy Blanks, uh, Jalal Murray, and the lovely Lori Holden. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome is proud to present the one-of-a-kind uh, martial arts experiences on Blu-ray, restored in 4K from its 35mm camera negative. Uh, so like I said, uh, you have the restoration, uh, there's a commentary track uh, by director Zal uh, Dallin, uh, Jahal Murray, pan the camera interview with billy blanks i like to tell stories another interview physical dialogue another interview uh video trailers um there's expect no mercy the video game a trailer intro and playthrough for the windows 3.1 that's, that's kind of interesting there so that is expect no mercy And then finally, from the uh, 90s kind of uh, action martial arts films, uh, we have, this one was actually a brand new release. There's actually two here that were like right from the sale uh, that they came out with. The rest were past ones. But this is Sworn to Justice with Cynthia Rothrock. And this is 2000. 741 out of 5,000, and this one for Expecto Mercy was 3,245. Um, and then this is the anti cover. Uh, it says Jaina Dane is uh, Cynthia Rothrock is a criminal justice psychologist who has always followed the rule of the law and fought to defend those accused of crimes. Till one night she discovers that her sister and nephew have been brutally murdered by a gang of thugs in their own home. Attacked by the same criminals, Jaina is able to use her martial arts training to defend herself. However, after leaping from the balcony to escape, Jaina is hit in the head and rendered unconscious. Once awake, Jaina discovers the blow to her head has given her extrasensory perception in the form of visions while touching certain objects. With her newfound psychic abilities revealed that she is defending one of the thugs that killed her sister and nephew, Jana decides that she has had enough 
of the criminal justice system and begins a vigilante quest to rid the streets of the criminals responsible. With the help of author and fellow martial arts enthusiast named Nicholas, Kurt McKinney, uh, Janice soon discovers that those responsible for her family's death may be working for some very powerful people. Featuring a copious amount of fight scenes blended with a healthy dose of humor, Sworn to Justice stars international uh, action movie heroine and real-life martial arts champion Cynthia Rothrock in one of her most revealing roles. Featuring a star strong cast of supporting characters, in including Brad Dorif uh, from Child's Play, uh, Kurt McKinney, uh, Mako, and Vince Murdoko. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome Archive is proud to present this quintessential slice of 90s late night action newly restored in 4K from its original camera negative. Uh, so yes, like we said that. Romancing the Rothrock, a new interview with Cynthia Rothrock, uh, a um, interview called Kung Fu Directing, archive interviews with a bunch of actors and actress, actresses, uh, an archival EPK making of Doc, uh, original Swarm of Justice video trailer, original Blonde Justice promo trailer. Uh, so yeah, so that is Sworn to Justice from uh, 1996. And then uh, finally, we uh, finish up with uh, two uh, more kind of martial arts films. But uh, of course, these are from uh, Hong Kong. And let's see, which one am I going to start with? Start with the earliest one. And that is uh, Yao Bo and In the Ice Man Cometh. So I believe this had an 88 films release. Um, in the UK, and then it had a, this is the US release of it. So here's the front, here's the back. Uh, both these films sound nuts. Uh, so it says, um, Fao Sha Ching is a royal, uh, or excuse me, is the chief royal guard during the Ming Dynasty, whose job is to protect the emperor at all costs including his own life. One day, Ching discovers that one of his men, uh, Feng Shan, is a sadistic rapist with a penchant for murdering his victims by breaking their limbs. After uh, Feng Shan attacks the princess and several other women, uh, Ching is tasked by the emperor with hunting down and killing him in order to restore his honor. However, things take an unexpected turn when the two men come face to face for a duel to the death, only to be become literally frozen in time by a mys mystical device known as the Wheel of Life and Death. 300 years later, in modern-day Hong Kong, Ching and Feng Shan are excellently thought out. Unfamiliar with his surroundings, Ching struggles to adapt to his new environment and soon finds himself at the mercy of an obnoxious call girl named Polly while attempting to continue to search for uh, Feng Shan, but little does he know that Feng Shan is adapting quite nicely to both the weapons and crime-ridden modern world and is beginning to resume his murderous ways. Uh, featuring an awesome, action-packed final face-off that remains amongst one of the most over-the-top in Hong Kong cinema, Clarence uh, Folks, uh, who also did The Naked Killer, The Iceman Cometh, skillfully combines daring action set pieces with fantasy and horror elements all wrapped in a comedic fish out of water scenario packed with memorable and death defying stunt work including a fight on top of a jeep hanging from a construction crane and starring hong kong action uh, superstar yang bao uh, legendary stuntman yang wa and acclaimed actress maggie chung uh, Vinegar Syndrome is proud to present this piece of genre-defying Hong Kong cinema, complete with swords, fights, gunplay, and a healthy dose of dark and mystical elements. So that is The Iceman Cometh, and uh, this is a, actually a two-disc set. So disc one contains the original 115-minute Hong Kong cut presented with the following mono sub... Uh, oh, excuse me. Fouling... Yeah. Let's try this again. Containing the original 115-minute Hong Kong cut presented with the following mono soundtrack options, 
Cantonese, uh, original language with a newly translated English subtitles, and two English dub uh, soundtracks. Uh, original and a late period redub. Also included in this disc are the following special features, a brand new commentary track with film historian and author uh, Sam Deegan, frame by frame, frame by frame, a brand new interview with cinematographer Pu Hang Sang, uh, Warrior Prince interview with actor Yao um, Yan Bao, Nemesis interview with actor Yan Hua, a Hong Kong trailer, English language trailer, an alternate English title sequence. And then disc two uh, contains the extended 22-minute Mandarin language cut presented with its original mono sub uh, soundtrack uh, with the newly translated English subtitles. This is from 1989, and this is The Iceman Cometh. So, sounded really kind of cool, all that mysticism and kind of things like that. Uh, and then we have... Uh, Ringo Lamb's Burning Paradise. There's that. There's this. It's actually kind of cool. Um, this one has kind of like the, what you would call that, kind of the matte kind of finish to it. Well, this has kind of a more shiny kind of, a little different than what the Grissom Dream usually does, I feel like. So... All right, so, so we're burning paradise. After the Manchu government sends soldiers to kill all the Shaolin monks, a young disciple named Feng Sai Yuk uh, flees with his master in order to avoid being captured and executed. While on the wrong, uh, Feng meets a young prostitute named Dao Dao, who helps Feng and his master hide from the ruthless Manchu general skilled with a flying guillotine. Unable to save his master, Fong and Dao Dao are both captured and sent to an underground work prison known as the Red Lotus Temple, run by a sadistic warren named Chung, uh, who has a penchant for torturing and decapitating his prisoners. The Red Lotus Temple is a booby trap riddled hell from which no one can escape. Thrown into a pit full of corpses and left to die, Fong must rally the other prisoners to fight back against their evil captors they have any hope of escaping a fate worse than death. However, Fong must first contend with a former Shaolin uh, disciple turned traitor, as well as a mysterious Max female fighter in order to save Dao Dao and free himself. A staggering violent martial arts epic, Burning Paradise, is considered one of director Ringo Lam's uh, City on Fire best and most underrated films, as well as his only foray into the wuxia uh, genre produced and collaborated with the visionary um, filmmaker. Uh, so where to go? Oh, sorry. Produced in collaboration with visionary filmmaker uh, Corey Hark, uh, Burning Paradise separates itself from other kung fu films of the time by incorporating dark fantasy elements and bloody fight choreography with slick production value and a bleak storyline. Uh, so then, this is um, newly scanned and restored in 2K. From his 35 millimeter print, uh, presented with his original Cantonese sound and newly translated English subtitles. Uh, there's another, uh, this one as well. There's a commentary tag by film historian and author Sam Deegan, a rare confidant, a brand new interview with actor Wong Kam, uh, Kam Kong. Uh, there's an archive interview with uh, Sue Hark. Um, there is a video essay by filmmaker Chris O'Neill, a theatrical trailer, a 12-page booklet uh, with essay by martial arts film historian and author Grady Hendrix. And that's actually kind of cool. Uh, and this is from 1994. So when they were kind of explaining, they were kind of saying this is kind of Indiana Jones-ish. So it'll be very interesting to see from that thing. Because uh, I want to say it was Justin Liberty or one of the other guys from... Um, Vigor syndrome was saying that's kind of like how this is. So, uh, but yeah, so again, uh, we had Burning Paradise, we had The Iceman Cometh, uh, Sworn to Justice, Expect No Mercy, Talons of the Eagle, The uh, Bloodorama Triple Frightmare, 
and then the uh, films of Doris Wishman, The Twilight Years. So uh, I have, hope everybody enjoyed this video of uh, what I got from uh, the Vinegar Syndrome uh, Black Friday sale. Like I said, a little different this time. Usually there's a bunch of horror in there, and this time it was more action, martial arts, with a few exploitation and stuff in there. So, uh, But next week, like I said, we're going to do uh, the best pickups I had for 2022. Um, they might, they're probably not going to be the best stuff that I got for the year. So stuff that came out during this year, but stuff that, you know, diamond and rough stuff I found at Goodwills and, and things like that. So, uh, so check that one out. I hope everyone is doing well, enjoying the holiday season and, uh, making out those lists for Santa. Cause there's a lot of good stuff that came out this year. So, uh, so everybody have a great week. Uh, thank you again for watching and remember be kind and rewind. See everybody next week.